Look, you god fucking ho. The law says children under the age of 18 cannot help be be fully held culpable for their crimes. Let me tell you something, bitch. Those kids knew those kids know the difference between right and wrong. Don't be fooled. Don't let your bleeding heart liberals. Oh, the kid, little kid is scared. The little kid got arrested for breaking an entry. Oh, the little kid is scared. Give him, give him another chance. Oh, don't even sl slap him on the wrist. He, he, he's scared. He didn't know what he was doing. Yes, he fucking did. I was a kid once. I was seven years old in first, gr first grade. And the kids were talking loud. The teacher was not in the room. Miss Platts. But another, uh, all the kids were talking. And there, there's a teacher from another classroom walked past the hallway. And she had a paddle this long. And all the kids suddenly became afraid. Everybody shut up. One of the kids said, Be quiet. You better be quiet. We, for fear that we'd get paddled. Another student said, She's not, that's not for us. She's not our teacher. And another student answered, Yeah, so? And everybody shut the fuck up. Look, if you're, I don't care, give a damn for your 10 year old kid. If you come at me with a knife, I'm going to treat you like a grown man. I will gouge your eyes out. I will break your arm. I'll kick you in the balls. You jump in this chest, you're coming off. I don't give a fuck. Six years old. If you're man enough to jump a grown man and try to beat up a grown man, you're man enough to get your ass kicked by a grown man. You know they hung kids for crimes back in the 1700s? And look at, the, look at how society was back then. Almost no crime... We were happier. There's law and order. Don't let those little brats fool you. They know what the fuck they're doing. And if a little if a teenager or a preteen wants to jump in my face, and I think he's gonna hurt me, if I had, I'll neutralize the threat. If I, if that means killing the motherfucker, I'll do that. I love myself infinitely more than some goddamn little kid trying to take from me what's mine. I love myself infinitely more than him. And this kid is not a family member. He's not one of my friends. So what if he dies? People die every day and we don't bat an eye. And even if he doesn't well know what he's doing. Say a five year old points a gun at me that's loaded and he's about to pull the trigger and I got a gun nearby, I'll shoot him before I let him shoot me. That's just the way it is. I'm afraid of dying. Look, don't ever, ever force me to choose between your life and mine, you'll lose. Every goddamn time. It's all about me, myself, and I. No, I got Asperger's. And a tendency of Asperger's people is to be socially backwards, behind the times. And that's me. When I lived in the 80s as a kid, I used to view with disdain. This debauched, sexually saturated society. I wish we could be like we were in the 50s. I saw a commercial about this Hershey bar. Saying how long, how many, showing the scenes from the decades. With people eating, eating the Hershey bar. The 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. And then it showed a scene from today, the 80s. And I looked upon that scene with disdain and contempt. For what, the way this society was so sinful. Now, that's 2024, I look back with nostalgia on the, on the 80s. I wish the society was like it was back in the 80s. When queers and faggots had to hide in the closet. When men were, were men were men and women were women. Where there were still family shows like My Family Ties and Happy Days on TV. Instead of this Seinfeld and Friends 
and smut and sex sexuality on the TV. And I'd be society today with this thing and contempt. And I hope I never, ever, ever look back on these days. I wish for the day to be like they are today. The 80s was where I stopped. Damn, I got a long one. <laughs>